What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video, your girl is here to give you a video. It's gonna be late, it's gonna be going up on Monday, but this is my must have must gag. This is a weekly video that I post where I talk about new makeup releases, specifically indie releases, um, just because those are the releases that I'm interested in. Um, Samantha March is the person who created this series. Um, I just created my own particular version of it. Um, so if you're interested in hearing her views on new makeup releases or any other people, I always have her channel, um, her channel's uh, playlist, and also the community playlist linked down below. I also always have all the products that I talk about linked down below as long as they are available. Most of the products though are not because I'm talking about them prior to them actually being released. Um, um, if you're wondering what's going on with this makeup look, I did record it. It is for a three looks one palette. So just wait on it. I should have this video for my three looks one palette coming up this Friday. Should. Hopefully. Who knows? So if you're interested, go ahead and subscribe. And I do want to go ahead and just unofficially thank everybody who has subscribed to me. I've officially hit 700 and I'm very happy about that. So yeah let us just scoot over i have tabbed a few things on instagram it's not been a lot of things in my personal opinion that i have found interesting um so i'm not going to drag this video out i'm going to talk about the few things that i found and we're going to just call it a night so the first thing that I want to talk about is Urban Decay created another naked palette. This one is Ultra Violet and as you would think by the name it is predominantly purple shades in this with some browns as well. Um, I am intrigued at the fact that Urban Decay is coming out with more of these naked palettes because the original concept for these palettes were so that they appeared to be like nothing on your skin so they were very natural very subtle palettes but now they're continuing on with this naked line where the colors are a lot more out there they're a lot more colorful so i'm wondering what's going on with the brand why they're changing kind of the concept of the naked line for their brand um but regardless like I said, they created this ultraviolet palette. There are about two, four, there's about five shades that are more brown focused and the rest are purples. Um, for me, I've not been a huge Urban Decay fan product wise. It's just not been a brand where I really check for any of their eyeshadows. Um, as for this palette, I have a lot of purples in my collection that I really do enjoy from brands and products Oh my god, what's going on with my eye? From brands and products that I really enjoy. So for me, it's going to be a pass easily. Even if I wasn't on a no-buy, this would be a pass. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Jay Kissa is doing her second launch with e.l.f. and her second collaboration with e.l.f. Her first collaboration, there was an eyeshadow palette and a lip gloss, I want to say. And this time, there looks to be an eyeshadow palette eyeshadow duo and a brush kit. Um, I think the eyeshadow palette looks really really nice for people who don't have the money to spend on higher brand um, eyeshadows and who really love color. I think this is a really really good option. For me I have all of these colors and I don't need another palette that provides the same things especially not another rainbow palette. So for me that's a pass. As for the brushes I have a lot of brushes. As much as I love to try new brushes brush shapes all that i have quite a few brushes so i just don't need them and the eyeshadow duo i'm assuming what it is is actually a liquid eyeshadow and i don't use my liquids enough so this whole collection is a pass but i do want to say congratulations to jay kissa because it is an accomplishment to have not only one collaboration but two and not only that for her to be a cruelty free youtuber and to have that honor is a really really cool thing NYX is also coming out with a collection. This one happens to be for Pride um, and they have a new eyeshadow palette where they used to have a lot of these push out. So from what I know this collection um, formula is actually pretty good. I've never tried the formula so I can't tell you guys fully but from what I hear it's actually a really good formula. They have some lipsticks coming out. I do have quite a few NYX bullet lipsticks and I do enjoy the formula. They're all their matte formula though so take that with a grain of salt. I'm not sure. No these are the satins so I don't know what their satin lipstick range and 
what it looks like feels like so I don't know um, but I do have quite a few NYX matte lipsticks and I do enjoy those and it looks like they're also coming out with again the eyeliners these eyeliners sold out and were highly coveted um, last year I wish I could take the time to buy some of these I really do enjoy a really nice um, waterline but honestly at the same time I have all these shades the only shade that I might not have is the purple and I have I'm sure one or two purples somewhere in my eyeliner collection so I don't really need this one so overall this whole collection is a pass although I think once again it's a really nice alternative for people who can't afford to buy more high-end or luxury priced products Maybelline seems to be coming out with the new lip gloss or lip enhancer um, collection. I think this is a really nice thing. I've been wearing a lot more lip gloss, more easily manageable products. I do still wear matte lip products, but overall in the grand scheme of things, I really do tend to lean more towards glossy lips or just more satiny lips. So for me, this would be something that I would actually get my money out of. Whether I need it in my collection, I know I don't, but overall it would be something that I would get my money out of. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Morphe Brushes has also released, um, or revealed at least, I'm sorry, their Pride collection as well. And it has an eyeshadow palette, there's some brushes, a, this spray, and a lip gloss. Um, and it will be launching on the 28th, so in a couple of days. Um, for me, once again, this is not something that I'm really, really gravitating towards. I will say I really did enjoy the Morphe setting spray. Um, and I am running pretty low on setting sprays. I don't need one now, but if this setting spray is still available when I need one, I wouldn't be opposed to purchasing it. The brushes, once again, I just don't need any more brushes. The eyeshadow palette, it's all shimmer. And I've determined that in my current method of using makeup and the amount of makeup that I have, I don't need an all shimmer palette. It's just not something that is useful for my collection. And the lip gloss I have, I want to say now two clear lip glosses and I don't use them regularly. So that is another pass. Iconic London is coming out with bronzers. You guys know I love bronzers. The tragic part part about this bronzer collection is I couldn't even set my face with these powders. I could maybe do some under eye setting, do some like highlighting, but that's it. And that's just disappointing. I understand that depending on where the brand is originating from and where they're locating and headquarters are, they're maybe changing their, um, their range depending on that demographic. But in London, there are people who are my complexion and darker. I'm not a very dark complexion. Overall, I would say I'm even lighter than like a Jackie Ina. Um, I'm, I would say I'm in between like Jackie and Alyssa Ashley. I'm, I'm like the typical black color. The typical color that like if a brand wants to put one shade that's dark in there, that's typically my color. So for me, the fact that I can't even find a bronzer that will even set my face in this range is highly disappointing. And that's the only reason why I'm talking about it. I just, you guys know I love bronzers. That's one of my favorite steps when it comes to putting on makeup. And the fact that this range doesn't even have a product that could set my face is disappointing. And there's nothing else that I can say about it. <laughs> MAC is coming out with looks to be ombre maybe eyeshadows or maybe blushes I don't really know nobody seems to know I think this is an intriguing idea whether an application it will work who knows um, I do enjoy a lot of MAC cheek products I have quite a few and I don't think I've ever decluttered any of them because I really enjoy the products um as for this product, I would like to know more information and then from there we'll see how I feel about it. One of my favorite brands from 2019, Lunar Beauty, is coming out with a new product and it is a face palette. Um, it's going to be $35 and the glosses are $17 each. You can get the whole set for $60 and it's going to be releasing on the 29th. Um, for me, let's start off with the glosses. It's an easy pass. For me, I've never tried his glass, 
this gloss formula which is not a bad thing I just I'm I don't wear gloss enough to collect a lot of glosses and I feel like I have quite a few I want to say I have like 10 lip glosses and that's enough I don't need any more so that's an easy pass and then as for the blushes I'm disappointed because at least from the multiple different viewpoints that I've seen the blushes are not going to be dark enough for me that being said I don't need another blush palette I don't I just recently did a video talking about some of my favorite blush palettes and I those are pretty much if I'm reaching for a face palette or a blush palette those are the three I'm reaching for the other ones I really don't reach for so do I need them no do I want them yes so for me this palette overall is just not something that I need to bring in my collection but I am disappointed because this is a brand that I've really really grown to enjoy in 2019 I have two palettes I enjoy both palettes and yeah it's just slightly disappointing um this is a new palette to me from what I know it's on sale right now so it might be old but I've never seen this palette so I wanted to talk about it and it's Aether Beauty Co um and it is their just just Joshua Tree Desert Matte Palette so it's all matte and I actually really like it I like these like mustard grungy tones I think they're really nice I think this is probably like their version of like the ABH kind of grungy tone situation so I mean if you have tried their formula or if you just really want like an all matte grungy version I'd say check it out I haven't heard any bad reviews on this brand or their formula I personally have not tried it but I mean why not copacetic Butterfly, wait, Copacetic Cosmetics has released their Butterfly Kisses palette and it will be launching on the 31st of May. I think this is really nice. It is a pretty cool toned purple palette um, with at this time period is unique. I don't feel like a lot of brands would be coming out with a cool toned palette in this kind of range right now, but I actually think it's intriguing. I think I like it. Whether I need it in my collection, I know it's a no, but would I want to have it and would I create some really nice looks? I feel like I would. Um, so maybe this could be something that I kind of keep an eye out on. Um, I probably will never bring it in my collection, but I would like to kind of have one eye staring at it. So Blush Tribe is going through some things. I don't really know what's going on with them. Um, they haven't been releasing much new makeup lately from what I know. I know the author seems to get in a lot of drama with other brands, their distributors, their customers, etc. I don't really know. I don't keep up with it. It's just not my bag to know all that stuff. But now they're rebranding. So I'm interested in to know why they're rebranding. I'm assuming it's because of all that drama and they're trying to like step back from that. Maybe it also may be like a new time period in the author, or in the author, in the founder's life that she feels that she needs to change the brand's name. I'm intrigued to see where the brand goes. I do still have quite a few palettes. I know I have at least two palettes still from their brand. At one point I was checking for every palette and I've since decluttered quite a few just because they weren't something that I really really needed um, or wanted anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to see what's going on. Basically right now they're trying to sell all their stock that says Blush Tribe and then they're going to officially relaunch their website their Instagram all that stuff so I will be interested to see what happens from here I know a lot of other youtubers who really focus in on indie brands are talking about it right now um so yeah I am sure we'll all be interested to see what's going on with the brand and then the last product that I want to talk about once again is something new to me I don't know if it's new to their range but shop beauty queen has released a palette and it's called the you you are my sunshine palette they tend to do a lot of very bright colorful palettes I had a palette from them I did not appreciate a lot of the mattes in the palette so I ended up decluttering and depotting some of the shades that I really really enjoyed um, and this palette is actually really really nice I actually like the fact that it has a combination of pastels and brights along with the mattes and shimmers I think this would be a nice palette to try out the brand like I said I have not had the best experience with them so I'm not gonna be kind of really jumping for joy to try them but if you're interested I would say go 
for it and if you're interested in this palette or the brand apparently dupe that has a 15% off discount and it's literally dupe that so I say go for it um but that is it those are all the products that I have pinned that I was interested in talking about or that I found that were new and interesting um as always let me know down below any products that you find interesting let me know any of the ideas or interest on the products that I have discussed not very many have actually been released I know a lot of brands have had to slow down their releases because of everything that's going on um but hopefully you guys are well hopefully they're well um and yeah i will see you guys in my wednesday video which i have already recorded so it should be going up on time as always y'all it has been